It's always quite informal, quite unofficial. We do not expect anything serious today. We are not here to educate you, mostly for entertaining you and giving you some flavor about what we are going to talk about. And today's meetup is dedicated to fuck-ups and fuck-up prevention techniques in the IT industry. I know we have some real specialists in uh, making fuck-ups and preventing fuck-ups and fighting them. Yeah, and our first well speaker today, well, it's not going to be a lecture, as you know, so we'll have a dialogue with me, with you, and the first, uh, the first speaker today is Christina Khan from Chulakol Studio, uh, and applause right now. And uh, I have to say that I was quite surprised to see someone from Chulakol Studio, because the, as you know, they are quite a rare species at meetups. Hopefully, from now on, it's going to change. And Christina, you are here. Tell us something. Hi, guys. Oh, can I do it without microphone? Yes, if, if you can be loud enough, why not? But you are supposed to shout like me, so that those decent people will hear you as well. Okay, I'll try. Uh, so, let's start. My name is Kristin, and before we start, I'd like to introduce myself and the company I work for. Uh, I'm UX UI designer at Choco Studio. So, our studio is uh, studio number one according to Tegline Award. So, uh, here you can see our office we work in, and it's such a lovely place, and it's located in Rostov. And here you can see it. Uh, there are some of our clients, and I believe you're familiar with every company. And firstly, I'd like to know what is your profession. Uh, please raise your hand if you're a project manager. Any okay. project managers in the neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe any designers? And developers? Oh, cool. Thank you. Okay, I asked about it because the information I'll share with you today is uh, quite useful for every kind of IT specialist. Um, because it doesn't matter if you're uh, a designer or a project manager or developer, <laughs> I believe. Um, Everyone communicate with client, uh, clients and try to uh, satisfy their needs and requests. So, uh, you know what it's like, especially, okay, especially if you work at full cycle company where the project goes through all stages from analytics to development and supporting project, and you know what it's like. So today, I will share with you uh, some cases when something went wrong uh, in my own experience. So for many specialists, uh, I believe that uh, communication with client, uh, clients is awful process uh, because um, you get so many edits and comments about your work and uh, I believe it's okay because uh, you feel that you don't want to fix something in your work and you uh, feel that you are right in this specific situation but do we really need to fight with our clients? Uh, in my opinion, it's not a good practice. And um, what things must you avoid and how to stop this everyday war with your client? Um, I believe that it sucks when you teach your client. Uh, you know this uh, type of specialist when uh, that uh, like saying, oh no, this pattern doesn't work or these colors don't match uh, or nobody uses it and blah 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 and uh, uh, for sure, mostly it's true, but does your client uh, want to hear that he's a fool and you're a great specialist of all times? I believe no. 
And Great, Christina, sorry, but what if a client says something like, oh, you're a, prof you're, you're a professional, you know better, but then when you show the result of your work, they say, no way, it's not going to work. Does it uh, happen? Yes, but I believe that you uh, must be um, really confident in your work and you need to prove that you're right. So but would you say it's a good idea like, to show the client that it is you who are a specialist and it's up to you to think and actually the client is not supposed to, to think that much. Like they actually, they outsource the whole thinking process to your company. Is it, is it a good idea? Maybe not such a good idea. What do you think? Mm, I, I believe that uh, it will be in the next uh, step, okay. but I believe that you're a professional and you need to uh, prove that uh, your work is good, but during the first brief, you need to uh, understand, to try to understand what your client wants uh, and why he wants to do something in this specific way. Mm -hmm. Sorry, continue. Okay, and uh, not long ago we had a station like that. Um, we uh, created a website for Game Studio and they requested to uh, create a new page to show that uh, they, they are alive and the company uh, is making something great every day. So uh, we got a ton of different stuff, different materials, and uh, we found images of employees' charts and different screenshots and strange jokes about game development that only developers could understand. So we uh, we were trying to uh, prove that uh, it wouldn't work for regular user, uh, but we couldn't win this battle because uh, we didn't listen to them. Uh, we got through five long iterations and it was a huge failure uh, because we didn't know what they expected. So we decided to brief them again and guess what? We found out that they wanted not a page for regular user but a page for potential employee. So that is why they wanted this strange jokes and uh, images of bugs on this page. And after that we changed many things and uh, we created a page that we both adore. So I believe that you, dur especially during the first brief and the first uh, communication with client, you need to uh, listen to uh, them attentively and try to realize these little things, what they want and why they want to do something in this specific way. And how did it end in that case? Did they listen to you or what? Uh, we just changed uh, changed some uh, things in our work, and we uh, we created a new concept. Mm. So it changed. Uh, we changed a lot. Yeah. And the next thing is deny making a mistake. So uh, it's okay to be wrong but it's not okay deny being wrong. And uh, now we are making a mobile app and other company uh, is making uh, a developing part. So it's a tough process because uh, we do it in Figma and uh, when we change something, it changes everywhere. So. Uh, one day we decided to improve our uh, design and improve, um, improve some screens and we didn't know that uh, our client sent it to developers and asked them to start developing part. So... Sorry, and were those developers responsible for the backend? Sorry? Uh, those developers, were they responsible for the backend part? Yes, and... and um, we broke the whole process 
and our client was angry because we really broke it and uh, the other team was confused so we didn't try to uh, deny that we were wrong and we just uh, so, sorry, and, and what was the fuck up about? Was it about sharing the information people didn't need or sharing it too early? Uh, it was fuck up that we uh, uh, didn't have this connect with our clients and we didn't optimize this process of uh, sharing our um, information and um, maybe writing some things that we already um, already sent and uh, after that we just optimized it and now we just uh, mark our uh, finished work with a green emoji mm. so and then we never touch these screens again so um, any questions <laughs> okay and the next thing is don't show your expertise so uh, you're a professional and your client need to feel it otherwise you'll be you will be under his pressure and you will do everything he uh, asked for no matter uh, good or bad decisions he makes and uh, in the past we did everything uh, our client wanted and everything he asked for so it, it was ended in discontent and uh, after that uh, he said it was awful work and it's, it was so bad uh, despite of all edits we uh, did and after that we just decided to uh, change the way we worked and we uh, showed new ways and new our view and we so, sorry but what was so wrong about showing your expertise what exactly was wrong we didn't uh show our expertise mm. we just uh did everything our client wanted just uh, he said he said something and we did it mm -hmm. and after that we just showed our uh, expertise we showed everything uh, we uh, thought about this uh, this work and uh, after that our client was really satisfied and he said it worked and it helped uh, his business so just show that you know uh, something uh, how to improve uh, client's business how to improve uh, this specific work that you want to do and it uh, could really save uh, this project so the next thing is uh, don't understand your client as a person uh, we all humans and uh, it's psychology but as a specialist you need to um, find a, an approach to your client and uh, you need to use your soft skills uh, for example some of our clients uh, like uh, a formal style in communication some of them uh, like to talk informally and uh, others like uh, joking during the conversation others don't uh, just find these little things in your communication and understand uh, how to uh, how to make it more convenient for both of you and the last thing is just remember that everyone wants to make a great project uh, yes uh, as a designer I see it as a visual beauty my client see sees it as um, business metrics but everyone wants to make something great and you just need to remember this little thing and uh, why is it important to stop fighting with the client and start 
partnership? Your turn, maybe your opinion. So any ideas why is it important to stop fighting? Well, in my experience, it just doesn't make sense. Maybe <laughs> to fight with clients, yeah. you won't have any money. Yeah, you know, while they're thinking, I want to ask you something. What if there are, like, inside your client, there are two, let's say, departments fighting with each other, like, like you know, like two, two dragon head, mm -hmm. two, two headed dragon, I wanted to say. They're fighting with each other, they make different decisions, and inside those two parts, there are different, like, people who also have their own opinions. What is, have you ever experienced anything like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, we just, uh, we ask our client to, clients, our clients, to um, communicate with uh, each other and... Like, give us just one dragon yeah. who, who, will, yes. who will tell us what to do. Okay, so shall we switch to the questions part? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, so basically you can ask her about fighting, whatever, maybe you have your own opinion about fighting. And anyone else? Anyone? Yeah. Any questions? Okay, uh, I have a question. Okay. okay um, am I right, uh, understand you completely right, that first of all you need to listen carefully what mm -hmm. client said in first brief or f first three, okay, and then you need to show your expertise to be taught enough, yeah? yeah. So, you know, where is this border between this uh, clever understanding of the clients and try to understand them and to be uh, a prof professional, okay? To show the expertise. For me, because the fight is between these two lines, mm -hmm. yeah? No, I need to be clever enough to know psychology, to hear them, to understand them. You know, and then I need to become a professional. Oh, I'm a professional. I see this. How I should combine it, these parts? Mm -hmm. uh, it's about balance. So uh, the first uh, brief is about listening to your clients and trying to understand why he uh, wants something uh, in this uh, specific way and why uh, your client wants to. Uh, maybe develop this and what is uh, his problem you just need to understand his problem and realize it and then uh, you're an expert and he wants uh, he wants uh, from you uh, to uh, solve it so you just after that you just need to uh, show that you're an expert and you can solve it and you can show how to do this it's about balance and would you also say that uh, on your side, like uh, like a contractor, you're supposed to be more focused on, on, on the project? I mean, in, in, in my experience, some of my clients were not just focused on, on the project. And I, uh, I was like, well, actually, I'm a project manager, and, and I was supposed to make them more disciplined in terms of giving me information, giving me the details and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's quite a... mm, I think that... If you have, uh, if you feel that you uh, don't have enough information about the project, you just need to ask more, and it's about listening to your client. Yeah, and ask, asking questions, as you say. Of course. Yeah. Anyone else? Any questions? Uh, so basically, it's a situation with uh, good cup, bad cup. Mm -hmm. Firstly, you good cup, you. <laughs> listening to your client, you carefully write what, what he says, uh, then you turn to bad cup. Uh, I do this, uh, I'm a professional, uh, I know that this is better and uh, you, trust, you should trust me with my expertise. Uh, about balance, uh, I'm referring to the uh, question. Uh, where, where, where am I find? Uh, do, where do I find it? Uh, so actually, is, is it necessary to, to be a bad cop and a good cop in one person? Uh, well, as he told us, you, you're mm -hmm. not supposed to fight. So, so sorry, answer, answer his question. I'm talking too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it's not about fighting. It's about uh, communication and being as a, a team, as a real team. So in this case, you just, uh, I don't know how 
to um, okay uh, in this case you just need to feel this um, this balance when uh, and remember that your client just want to solve solve his problem so you he uh, he just come, comes to you and he uh, want from you this uh, decision how to make this or that and uh, if he uh, says that he um, uh, he um, think that um, it's not okay, it's a bad decision, and you just uh, uh, need to listen to him one more time why he want this or uh, why he uh, doesn't want this uh, way or, or this way, and just uh, understand uh, his. Uh, thoughts and his opinion in this uh, specific case. And Sergey, I think you had a question. Um, have you faced a situation when client uh, is angry uh, and want to argue about something? Uh, if you have, uh, by which way uh, such situation can be resolved? Um, yes, I had a situation like that. Um, for example, uh, it's situations about uh, I don't know. It's all about making some uh, making something wrong and um, how to solve this, right? Mm -hmm. How to solve this, right? Yeah. Uh, just uh, I think it's uh, a manager's part maybe when he um, he says to a client that. We change the way we work, and we uh, we solve this problem in our team, and blah blah blah. And after that, we just try to understand what is the problem in our work, and uh, we uh, try to solve it as uh, as fast as possible. So. Yeah, and in my experience, being a project manager is, is like playing chess. You know, you should think three or four steps ahead and always remember about the horses on the opposite side. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, uh, Am I right that you are a designer, yes? Yes. And you directly uh, communicate with your clients? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, what is the best proportion between uh, hard skill and soft skill? Every skill uh, requires some time to, to get. So, uh, what is the best proportion of these two main things for any yeah. development and project, in your opinion? And by the way, in addition to this, how often is a designer supposed to communicate with the client directly? Yes, that's a good question. I do it every day, almost every day, because uh, I'm a lead uh, in my team. Uh, I'm designer a leader and. I communicate with clients directly every day and I call with them every day and we just communicate and uh, talk about uh, every uh, every task. So um, Are you designing? You do have time to design something? Yeah, it's just uh, eight, uh, eight hours but I'll try to, uh, I try to do everything. What about your hard skill in this situation? In this, uh, uh, it's our uh, Well, she, she's still supposed to be able to use Figma, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's our company. It's um, it's about being as um, as strong in soft skills and uh, as hard as, as hard, hard as, in, in yeah. hard skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's about uh, 50 percent, percent uh, soft skills and 50 percent hard skills. Good. Good. Any more questions? Anyone? Oh, it, it looks like we've finished with the questions. Did you like any question in, in particular, like the most, maybe the weirdest question? Okay, I, I, um, I think you I need to just I need to ah, you, finish I, I, my sorry. presentation. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, about. Why is it important to uh, stop fighting? In my opinion, it's about speed. The faster uh, your client approves your work, the faster you finish it and you escape these stressful situations when deadlines will burn. Uh, the second thing is uh, teamwork. It's 
about teamwork. And in this case, uh, it's uh, more convenient when you uh, work as a real team and your clients uh, just um, help you as much as possible when he uh, sees that you're interested in uh, this project and you're interesting, interested in making high quality uh, result and um, not just making your boring uh, everyday routine. So he will, uh, when he sees it, he uh, help you as much as possible in your work. And the last thing is saving resources. Um, it's about saving energy of your team and uh, saving healthy relationships with your client when he uh, satisfied and uh, your uh, team is uh, satisfied too by working together with the client and uh, you just know that you uh, can uh, get um, higher NPS and it's better for your company so uh, that is why saving resources is so uh, important I think. That's all. Okay. And any more questions, boys and girls? Anyone? Yeah. So I know you're supposed to choose kind of the best or the weirdest question, whatever you prefer. Like, mm. Who do you like the most? Or, like, could, could you choose just one of the questions? Mm. About or? Uh, no, well, actually, I, I want to oh. give, give this guy a present, and you're supposed to show me this guy. Mm. No, no. I mean, uh, oh. so, uh, ah, you mean that, that lady? Yes. So I didn't understand. So this shopping bag goes to this lady, and thanks to. Yes. Christina, thank you so much for your presentation. Yeah, and applause again.